Welcome back to Emacs Rocks. This is a special series with where we're extending Emacs, and I'm saying we because I'm here with Christian Johansen. Hello. He's the guy that introduced me to Emacs. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and um, we're going to create um, a minor mode. Yeah. For a, a testing library for JavaScript called Buster JS. Yes. That you've written. Uh, yeah, me and August Lilos. Yeah. Yes. So, um, since we're using Buster a lot, we would like to have a minor mode for it. And it doesn't exist yet, so we have to do it. Yeah. And, and doing a minor mode is a fun learning experience about extending Emacs. Yeah. So, cool, let's start a project. I keep all my projects in the site list folder, actually. So I don't have to keep them. Look, look I, I, I could have a own project folder, but I have the symlink stuff in. Yeah. No. So let's make the buster mode and get in it and uh, start with the readme. Yeah. To get an overview of what we're trying to do. Yeah. So, um, some key bindings. These are buster tests. There's a buster test case, it has a setup, and it has tests like this. Yeah. And there's a few uh, like ASCII art features that would be very nice to have editor support for. Yeah. This one is the deferred test. It will just uh, not run the test, just keep it in the report as a reminder. So toggling the two slashes on and off would be useful to do with the key binding. Yeah. So let's just start with that and we can grow it later. Yeah. So um, I, su I suggest we use a namespace for all the buster key bindings. Yep. The, the regular namespace for custom key bindings is CC. Mm -hmm. So if we do ccCB, that's quite easy to press, and then some mnemonic shortcut. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sounds good. So toggle deferred. Yeah, that's a good name. Something like that. Yeah. And then if it st already starts with the double dashes or uh, slashes, it will take it away, I guess. Yeah. No total. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, nice. We have been talking about doing some test-driven development. Mm -hmm. Using eqs. Yes, eqs. Let's find it. Eqs. So it's cucumber for Emacs, and um, we're also going to use uh, regeeps uh, eSpuds, which are some predefined step definitions. So let's add those. You're using the shell in Emacs, of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Is there any other shell? To need some support files. I'm just going to copy those from um, expand region. Okay. So we're going not going to need these. And let's rename that to um, um, Buster Mode Dog Feature. Yeah. 
You can split it into several feature files if we get lots of them. Yeah, but for now we have one feature, so... Yeah, that's nice. And there's an environment. This just, just sets up the environment and loads to the package and stuff like that. So uh, I'll quickly replace expand region with buster mode. And I should have something that looks like it. And also uh, kill those. Those were just some key bindings to expand region. Okay. So now we require buster mode and eSpuds and the testing framework in that's built into Emacs, which EQX is using. Okay. And we're putting stuff on the load path. And before we start all the tests, we switch to a new buffer, erase it, and put on some sensible defaults. Mm -hmm. And we have no need for cleanup. No. at this point. So basically the before is to clean up. Yeah. It's cleaning up the buffer. Yes. So let's start over. Um, a feature toggle deferred. Should be as a buster using Emacs user. <laughs> a buster using Emacs user. <laughs> I want to just press a key, please. I, I'm not really sure about these no feature <laughs> definitions. <laughs> how useful they are? Especially the role here is is not really useful. No, you're someone using Emacs. It's kind of implied. Yeah, yeah. So a scenario. Um, referring a test. So um, when I insert, so how does it how does a test look like? Uh, you need a, a test case for. Or there's actually more than one way to do it, but we're gonna focus on the test case. Yeah. And that says uh, yeah. You can just copy this one. To copy this one. Yeah. And then just close it off. Or yeah. Yeah. This is okay. So now we have. Quite a lot of test data. You can remove the setup too, I guess. Yeah. This is one test. So basically, we want to be able to put the column marks inside the name right before it contains. Yeah. So when you insert that and you hit uh, the key binding, I have to. How do you, how does it know which test to toggle? I'm oh, thinking right. you, sh you should be uh, probably be. It should be somewhere in that test. Doesn't yeah. really matter where. So, most likely you're gonna be at the assert line. Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, and I go to. Um, I'm going to. I'm going to switch out, out and get some step definitions. Let's see. JS2 refactor has some nice step definitions here, which is I go to the character and to the front and the end of a word. These are going to come. In come in handy pretty soon. So step definitions and yeah, rename that to uh, basic steps. So now we have I go when I go to a character and when I go to the front and end of the word. Yeah, that sounds useful. So let's see. And I go to the front. Let's see. When I go to the front of the word, a search, mm -hmm. and I press C C C B toggle deferred. Yeah. Then I should see. Then basically the same thing with the comment marks. Added. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's good enough. Contains. Maybe even include the initial quote mark. Yeah, make sure that it's there. Then have to. You can just escape it. I would assume. Yeah, I guess so. Something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to. I want to try it out first, just so we know we have it running, and then we can add it. Okay. So. Because um, it's kind of crucial that it doesn't actually comment out the test, but it actually adds it inside the string. Yeah. 
So we run the test with the util eqs. What eqs? You can run it from inside Emacs. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Hmm. Can't open load file buster mode. No, we haven't even made the buster mode file. Yet. So buster mode yeah. provide. Done. <laughs> so now we have a failing test. Um, it didn't contain the word slash slash contains. Cool. I think we should probably commit this. Is it okay to commit a failing test? Yeah. Yeah. We can do that. We no we now are working test environment. Okay, let's quickly do the README. Right, I'm going to borrow stuff from expand region again. Run the tests. Like so. Hmm. Expand region. That's <laughs> <laughs> remote. Nice.